Hello everyone, my name is Antonio Ramirez and I'm a PhD student at the Music Technology Group of Universidad Pompeu Fabra. Today I'll be presenting you our work LoopNet, Musical Loop Synthesis Conditional on Intuitive Musical Parameters. I've conducted this work together with Priti Shanna and we were supervised by Xavier Serra and Emilia Gomez. For those of you that do not know what are loops, they are audio excerpts that are heavily used and have been foundational to several genres of electronic music. They are normally of short duration, from 1 to 8 bars long, and they are meant to be repeated in a seamless manner. Electronic music makers often obtain these loops from other music makers or from commercial services. They can also design their own, which can then be used to then quickly create music pieces or rearrange to create new loops. Our work focuses specifically on the generation of drum loops from high-level concepts that music makers can understand. Historically, there have been two main ways to create drum loops. The first one will be to record acoustic drums, which are then processed on an audio workstation. On the left picture, we see Clive Stubblefield, the inventor of the funky drummer break, which has been reused more than 1,000 times. On the right, we see a classic drum machine, an electronic instrument which can be used to program rhythmic patterns and to a certain extent to modify the sounds of each drum. Several generative deep learning architectures have been applied to generating instrumental sounds. These include the sample RNN, the WaveNet, generative adversarial networks and autoencoders. In our work, we will be using the WaveUNet, a feed further alternative to the autoregressive WaveNet. This provides faster training and influence times. In the specific case of drum generation, the neural drum machine uses a variational autoencoder to generate sounds, allowing the user to navigate an abstract embedding space. DrumGAN uses progressive growing to generate drum sounds from high-level features previously using NeuroDrum. This last model also uses the WaveUNet which generates audio with a lower quality than drum gun, but allows for faster training and inference times. In our model for drum loop synthesis, we will be taking this wave unit architecture, condition on high level features that music makers know, and compare different loss functions based on the spectrogram and the waveform. For conditioning the model, we chose features which allow sufficient control over the generation process while being self-explanatory for music makers. We started with the kick, snare and hi-hat activation functions extracted from an automatic drum transcription system proposed by Carl Southall. These represent the energy of each hit of the drum. This representation can easily be calculated from pre-recorded drum loop or generated from a MIDI score. To describe the tonal content, such as the low end of the kick drum, we use the harmonic pitch class profiles which represent the energy distribution across the 12-tone chromatic scale. To describe the timbre of each drum sound, we use the audio commons timbral feature. These are boominess, sharpness, depth, hardness, brightness, roughness, and warmth. Finally, in some of the models, we use the energy envelope in a similar manner as used in NeuroDrum. We have evaluated several models based on the WaveUnet architecture. We experiment with the following loss functions. Wave is a simple waveform and construction loss based on the L1 norm. Spec represents a single resolution STFT loss, while Multi uses several STFT losses where the FFT is calculated on several window resolutions. At the end, we compare the following models. STFT, where the WaveUnet outputs a spectrogram which is converted to the waveform using a Griffin Lim algorithm. The wave model outputs waveforms and uses the wave loss. The wave spec combines this model with a spec loss, while multi combines the waveform and the multi loss. Finally, we evaluate a multi model without being fed as input the energy envelope. To train and evaluate these models, we use an in house collection of 8226 drum loops from looperman.com. The loops have tempos between 120 and 140 bits per minute, and these tempos were validated using the confidence measure proposed by Frederick Font. This metric compares the duration of the loop to the duration of one bar at a given tempo. 
Although the loops were time stretched to 130 BPMs and segmented into one bar clips with duration of 1.8 seconds. To evaluate the models, we provide two quantitative evaluations. The fresh audio distance quantifies audio degradation in a way related to human judgments. This uses audio base latent embeddings from the audio set VGG's pre-trained model. Timbrel feature coherence validates if changes in the input features lead to similar changes in the output. You can find the result of this evaluation in our poster. Furthermore, we provide an interactive demo and audio examples that allow you to listen and assess the synthesis quality and the process of generating a loop. In this work, we have presented a feedforward loop synthesis algorithm with a fast processing time and controllable by intuitive features that music makers understand. The model also allows to mix and match the rhythmic timbrel and harmonic content of different loops. We also provide an open source implementation to enable further research in this topic as well as easy access to the general audience. If you'd like to know more about our work, check out our results or even play with a synthesizer, stop by our poster. Thank you very much for your time and see you soon.